Hey guys, in today's video I decided I would show you how I got ready for my recent baby shower. So I'm beginning with a primer just to set my face and get it ready for all the makeup I'm about to put on it. And the one I used was just from Hard Candy. Then taking the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer with a flat brush, I just went ahead and put that over any imperfections or discoloration on my face and underneath my eyes as well just to, you know, get rid of those hours that I didn't sleep. And then with a fluffy brush I just went ahead and buffed it out. And then taking the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Cons er, Foundation with a beauty blender, I just went ahead and buffed that into my face. And then with a Wet n Wild overall concealer, I just went ahead and applied some more underneath my eyes. Just to really brighten them up, that concealer is really good for having that brightening effect. And then just blending that with a blend beauty blender as well. And as I awkwardly hold my powder upside down, that is the NYC Smooth Skin Powder that I used for years. I'm just using that all over my face with a fluffy brush. And the e.l.f. Uh, blush and bronzer duo, I just went ahead and took that on a medium-sized fluffy brush and did the fish face and applied it into the hollows of my cheekbone, on my forehead, and just sort of in my hairline as well. And then with my favorite MAC highlighter, I just went ahead and put that on my cheekbones. I also like to put it um, underneath the bronzer just to really give it that effect of a sculpted face. And then with the Elizabeth Arden blush, I just went ahead and popped that on the apples on my cheek just to give a little bit of color to my face. And blending all of that with the same fluffy brush. And then I recently started using the MAC Fix Plus to set all my makeup. And then I used an e.l.f. duo um, for my eyebrows to fill them in and sort of shape them how I like them. And just using a little brush to blend everything out and that's how you're gonna get the most natural effect and then using an elf primer I just went ahead and applied it all over my lids And then taking that same highlighter, I just went ahead and used it as a lid color because it's a really pretty champagne that will give you a little bit of shimmer and bring out your eyes. And then using Naked, or sorry, Virgin, um, I'm going to go ahead and use that on a fluffy brush to put in my inner corners. Now, with Naked, I'm going to go ahead and use that sort of as a transition color, just to put that in my crease. And then taking Buck on a smaller brush and just really working it into my outer corner with slow and steady motions to really make sure 
it blends in very well. And applying it underneath my eye as well. I'm just blending it all out with a blending brush. And then with an NYC um, liquid liner, I just went ahead and lined my upper lash line. And then I used the Nudes palette from Maybelline um, on a flat brush using the black to sort of mark a wing to give me a guide because I'm not the best with wing liner whatsoever. Now moving on to hair, I went ahead and took it out of the bun contraption it was in and really brushed it through. And of course put my country music on shuffle. And then put a little bit of the Heat Tamer Spray into my hair. I find that Tresemme sort of makes my hair oily and kind of greasy, so I just use as minimal as possible. And then taking that elastic again, or sorry, I'm going to go ahead and tease my hair a little bit just to maintain the volume and make sure it doesn't sink to my head. And then putting it all up again into a ponytail. I'm taking my Conair Curling Iron on the highest heat setting and then taking small sections from that ponytail and wrapping it around the curling iron and holding it for about 7 or so seconds. And as you can see, I'm altering the directions that of the way I'm wrapping my hair to really give a more natural and bouncy effect. Using the Aussie Mega Hairspray, I just went ahead and sprayed a little bit in just to make sure that my curls have some folds. And then as I took it out of the ponytail, I just really sort of played with it to place it how I like it and make it look as best as I could. Teasing it a little bit and just making it all cute. And then I went back to my eyelashes, I went ahead and curled them and then used the Lash Sensational Mascara. The reason I do this is so that my eyeliner has some time to really dry and set because what I found in the past, if I do my eyelashes right after I do my eyeliner, my eyeliner ends up being on my eyelash curler and that just defeats the purpose. That's pretty much my routine and that's kind of what I did for the baby shower. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, follow me on all social media, and subscribe.